Hey guys, how's it going? So this video is going to be in response to something I saw on the Redstone subreddit. And so somebody posted some computer RAM that they made. Um, and it was novice, um, you know, it was a unique design that they made themselves clearly, but it wasn't optimized in any sort of way. Had torch towers and a sloppy decoder. And a, he called it a demultiplexer, but it's actually a decoder. So I, I just want to clear up some, some things about RAM like that and then show you that there's better designs out there um, that stack in the same kind of way that he was going for where it, it, there was layers of them so you can have 3d stacking so you have the uh, flatness and then you can stack the flat ones on top of each other so i want to show you a cell that's stackable in any direction so you don't have to stack certain parts of it in a certain way kind of like he was doing um, but this isn't the most dense memory in minecraft i can show you some other more dense registers um, but this is the most dense 3D stacking memory format, and this was created a long, long time ago. You're not going to be able to beat this because it's physically impossible to pack these wires through this in any other way. Because you need an input line and an output line, and the redstone can't touch each other, so that requires four wide there. And then you need a read and a write line, and the redstone can't touch each other, so that requires four wide. So the cell itself is four by four by four, and because of that, that's really the most, the smallest you can get packing in all those wires. Um, so you're not going to be able to beat that. You may be able to get it faster in some sort of way, but even then I doubt it. Um, so the way this works is this is the write, and the data comes in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a zero. So here's the zero in, and we're going to click this button here, right? And now when we read, we get a zero out. Cool. But now when I put in a one, and I lock it, and I let go of the one, and I can read it out whenever I want and never get rid of it. And then I can write back in a zero and then we read a zero out. So now this is just one bit. So I have this memory arranged here to be used as image memory. So I'm using an eight by eight array. So you get 64 pixels because my screen that it, this is hooked up to is eight by eight. So this gives me eight um, images at eight by eight resolution. So eight by sixty, uh, eight by eight by eight is the amount of bits. So eight by eight is sixty-four times eight. So that's sixty-four bytes. So this is sixty-four bytes of memory in Minecraft. And then here I can show you that this is the output bus here, and this output bus, it's all linked together here. You can see that the, the bus goes through like this. So there's the output bus. Now let's look at the input bus. So the input bus would be this guy through this torch. And you can see that that goes like that forever this way. And we can just follow it like that. It comes out here. So this memory can just be stacked and stacked and stacked and not ran into any issues. It's stacked vertically, horizontally, it does not matter. Um, the format of this will allow you to place repeaters wherever you need it. For example, right here, look at this. So you're able to place the repeaters where you need them, and there's no redstone there, so you're not flooding the redstone, so it works very nicely. So here, let me show you exactly this, how this works. So in here, this is um, this is from a very old device I made. This is a paint uh, program. But anyway, so let's just... Uh, so right now we're loading up. We have a Pokeball on display. Let's go... So we're up means read, down means write. So we don't want to overwrite anything. We're just going to read. So I'm going to read this and slash. Okay. So now that the, the rain has passed, yeah, uh, I'm in single player right now. Um, so now we'll load six. It's an extended piston with, I guess, something stuck to it at the end. Um, so now we'll load five. Pokeball 4, I think it's like another style of Pokeball, yep, um, let me do 3, Mario, 8-bit Mario, 2, uh, Starry Night, this is 8x8 uh, eight eight resolution Starry Night, good luck trying to figure that how you can see that. Um, See what's in one. Some random stuff and let's see what's in zero. Other random stuff. So there's 
eight different images that you can hold using this memory and it's actually functional. Um, so if you guys want like a download or something of this memory, or if you want me to uh, go over that design again, uh, let me know and uh, I'd be more than welcome or happy to do that. Anyway, see you guys next time.